Good morning everyone. Looking out my side door, this is what we woke up to this morning. Very humid with a little bit of mist in the air. And today is Crock-Pot Wednesday. I hope you stay tuned to watch what we're gonna make. From the diary of my grandma Fanny, May 30th, 1942. Today I had the first mess of sugar peas. Our Memorial Day was great. I worked on slacking the corn and I ordered four months of coal. Today is the last day of school. It's Crock-Pot Wednesday. So today I'm gonna to share with you what I'm gonna make and I'm gonna share with you what I'm working on throughout the day. This Crock-Pot Wednesday comes from a magazine clipping and it is called Fiesta Chicken with Rice and Beans. So let's get started and so let's get started in making our crock pot meal. It is before 8 a.m. this morning, and I always get my crock pot meal started right away first thing in the morning before I get working on other chores. That way I know that my food is cooking and I don't need to worry about it for the rest of the day. This crock pot meal you can either have on for low for eight hours or high for four hours. Let's go and get started. I'm gonna read you the ingredients as they're placed into the crock pot. It calls for one can of tomato sauce. Now normally I use my own, but I found this one in the pantry. One can of tomato sauce. Two cans of diced tomatoes with chili. Most of this stuff I have in my pantry, but I've been really trying to organize my cupboards and getting rid of some of the stuff that needs to get used up. So we have two cans of the Rotel, and I'm using the mild. So it's the diced tomatoes with green chili. One cup of long grain rice. That is raw. One can, 14 and a half ounces of chicken broth. And one packet of taco seasoning. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stir this all up because the liquid is what's going to cook with our rice. And then to that, we are going to add one pound of chicken thighs or breast. And I got for $3.20, I was able to get the chicken breast tenderloins. So I'm gonna use that because it was on sale for $1.99 a pound. So mine is gonna be like a pound and a half. And we're gonna lay that over the top. To that we are going to add one can, 15 ounces of pinto beans. Now I don't have pinto beans at the moment, but I have black beans, and so black beans will work really well, I am sure. So we're gonna add that to it as well. Once again, Fiesta chicken with rice and beans. One can, 15 ounces of tomato sauce. Two cans, 14 and a half ounces, of petite diced tomatoes with green chilies, undrained. One cup of long grain rice, raw. One can, 14 and a half ounces, of chicken broth. One can, 15 ounces of pinto beans, and I'm using black. One pound of boneless chicken breast, thighs, or thighs. One packet of taco seasoning. And that is the picture of it. 
I will admit I have never made this before, so we are going to try it all out together. So let's plug it in on low for eight hours or on high for four hours. So we are going to put it on high for four hours. So we have our meal started for the day and now I got to get working. There's a project that needs to get done and I have been putting it off for months. And so you're going to help me and we're going to organize my laundry cupboard that is in a total disarray. So let's get started on that project. So here we are. We are in this little area where I have my laundry room. Now in the winter time, I will wash my clothing. I fill up my lawn. In the winter time, I fill up my washer with water. Now the way I do laundry is totally different than 90% of the people. I have a tub that I will show you and my water drains in the tub and then it's gravity fed out into my backyard where I get to water my trees and my plants and all those things. In the winter time, that's where the water goes. In the summer time, it's so much easier for me because I like to go outside and I like to wash my clothing outside. But today's project is this cupboard. It's got stuff everywhere. It's not organized. I don't know what I have. And it really needs to get cleaned up. And so today, that's what we're working on. Most of my products are homemade. Here we have our homemade uh, carpet powder. And I always stock up on the washing soda because this is what I use for my homemade laundry soap. So if it's on sale, I'll get it. And here I have my lye. My lye shouldn't be sitting like this. It should be packed in the back because I don't use it every day. In fact, I only use it twice a year. Homemade furniture polish, which a lot of you seen in my videos and really enjoyed it. And then I do have a few things that were bought at the Dollar Tree. And my daughter gave me this for a Christmas gift. So it's just a hodgepodge of all kinds of things that I use sometimes daily and other times not so daily. Like here are my homemade fabric softener, which all it is is vinegar and essential oils, which I did a video as well. And I use that outside when I do my laundry. What else do we have? We have my toilet fizzies, which is another great video. Made window cleaner, which I can tell you what it is. My homemade window cleaner. It's half store bought and half homemade. It lasts so much longer. It's so much better than anything you'll buy commercially. Go to the Dollar Tree, get one of these for one dollar, take half of it out, or three quarters of it out. You're going to add rubbing alcohol, you're going to add about three drops of Dawn dish detergent, and you're going to shake it up and it works amazing. So you just put a little rubbing alcohol in it, there is no set amount. You put some Dawn dish detergent, like three or four drops, that's all you need. Shake it, works great, it, it gets rid of all the smudges, it gets rid of all the grease marks, and it is streak free. So. There you go, my friends. It's how you do it. Now, some people make it with vinegar, and I have done that in the past, but I don't like the smell of vinegar. But this you're going to love. So I'll tell you again. Go to the Dollar Tree. Get one of these. Take some of it out. And then you're going to add some rubbing alcohol. I add usually about this much rubbing alcohol. So like about that much rubbing alcohol. Three to four drops of Dawn dish soap. And shake it. Shake, 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 shake. And it's great. So, that is what I'm working on. Ooh. <laughs> That's a blooper. Yes, I am sitting on top of my washing machine. I might be getting a little too old for this. <laughs> but that is what I'm working on. So, let's get started. Enough of this jabbering and let's get to work. Oh, another big tip. Dryer sheets. You don't buy them for your dryer. One sheet on a very scorched pan. Let it set overnight in some hot water. The next morning, you can wipe it away. So if you ever burn something on your pan, don't waste your time in scrubbing. 
take one dryer sheet, put it in your pan with some hot water, let it soak overnight, and all you have to do is take that dryer sheet and wipe your pan clean. It's guaranteed. There you go, everyone. Now it's all cleaned up and it's organized. Now I can see what I have and what I need. And I don't think I need anything. I think I'm pretty much stocked up and supplied. All right, let's get you started on our next A little bit of my system. So in the winter time, I have this plunger sitting right here. And what I do is I fill up my washing machine with water. My washing machine does not work. The agitator does not work. So I have to take the plunger by hand. And I put some water in to show you what I do. Now, the one thing great about this washer is it still works for draining the water out. So, and that's where I come into this because my drain systems are not like the average household. So, there is my drainage system. It goes in the tub and then it goes into various places and outside where I use it to, um, in the, in the fall I'll use it to water things and I have it strategically placed outside. So there you go my friends, that is my laundry system because when something doesn't work I still use it until I actually can't use it anymore. The dryer doesn't work so what I do is I have the drum sitting on this old dryer simply because I needed something for the drum to sit on. So I know a lot of you won't quite understand what I just explained to you but take my word for it, it does work. <laughs> I do like to do things a little bit unordinary. Everyone, it's finished and this is what it looks like. So it looks like the picture that you've seen. I decided to put a little bit of a twist to it. It shows that you eat it like that, but I've decided to put, make little tacos with it. We're just going to put a little of the chicken in. Some of the rice and the tomatoes. I'm going to add my homegrown spinach and a tomato. It's a little bit of sour cream. And there you go. I will be making this again. It is very good. I wouldn't eat it just out of the crock pot like that but it would be great for a salad. It would be great for little tacos like this. And it is really tasty. You can taste the beans. I like the black beans in it. I would choose black beans. I love the, um, the taste of it. It's a little spicy. I don't know if I would use the taco seasoning again. I don't think it really needs it. But those of you who really like Mexican food and like the spiciness, this is perfect. Mm -mm. It is really good. Really quick.